Hey guys, it's Samantha, and today I'm going to be going over the new 7.3 Video Star effects. So first of all, you can automatically tell that there is a new button here, and what this is, if you press it, it brings you automatically to the editing screen rather than a filming screen. And if you want to film, then you press New, Record Video, and this will pop up and you can film like normal. So while we're still on this screen, there is also a new feature, which is add, and you can now um, record video, import video, import photo. However, um, this can only be added to the end because if you were to add it in the middle of a project, like if you were to add a photo here, the audio would be messed up. So um, unfortunately, that they can't do that. So if you add a uh, photo, then you would set the scene length, so how long, that this is the end of the song, so you can just set it for how long you'd want it to be, and then you would import photo, and as you can see, it imports at the end of the video. Along with this, there are some new features in multi-layer. Um, I just wanted to point out that if you set a background, a lot of people probably might um, be wondering this. If you normally, if you go to edit keyframes and you press here, there would be a mirror option. However, that has been moved and now it is here and you can make it here I'll show you so if you zoom out let's just go to I don't know there and then if you press mirror the mirrors will be there but now you can actually switch them so they can be like this or like this it just depends on your personal preference and what you're trying to do along with that there are also um, some new color features along with these and they are pretty cool there's this one, some of these, and this one. I believe this is a new one. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is a new one. I like this one. I like the ones that make it look like it's nighttime because it's pretty cool. So next is the famous spin transition. Um, if you press color, there are these two new effects, spin blur and spin focus. Um, you can do post or pre-mask and you can also change this and along with that So let's say you have um, a clip here and a clip here and you're doing a spin transition um, I'm sure there's tutorials on that if you are unaware of how to do so But along with this slider some maybe you want it to happen in the middle of clip in the middle of the clip if you press edit keyframes press this then you can play around with the spin here so if you aren't um, sure of how to do the basics of this effect, I will link a video down below of how to do it. Um, but with these new effects, as I showed you before, you can now make it like this. Which I think is really cool and I'm really loving that. So I think that's all I wanted to get across to you in this video. I just wanted to make it very quick and um, just get everything out there. So um, I hope you're enjoying the update and yeah. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. Well, I will answer them. I won't try. Um, and yeah, have a nice day. Bye.